Hey everybody, I know it's been a little while. Life has uh, been pretty hectic around here for the last couple of months really. So I know the videos have been slow, but I'm going to try and pick up a little bit more. Still got a lot going on, so things might not be coming out every week. I'm going to try and put out a video every Friday around 8 p.m. Atlantic time, so we'll see how that goes. So, but today we're going to get this printer back up and running. This 3D printer, I haven't ran it since, well, basically middle of December with everything going on. So first we're going to do some maintenance, check on some belts, make sure everything's good and tight and ready to roll. Um, as you can see in the background, it, even the last time I ran it, I left a roll on here. So we're going to have to pull that out and uh, slap it in the dryer real quick because that one is going to run. Now the humidity in this room has been very low so it should be okay but we'll find out and uh, i'll show you what we're going to be printing it has to do with our plants so uh you'll get more of that if you go to canadian family life uh in a week or two you'll see what we're talking about what i'm going to be printing on here is going up there a couple of different parts so uh we'll see how those turn out so for right now let's get this printer cleaned up and tightened up and ready to roll Okay, first things first, let's turn it back on and we'll get the roll out of there. I'll have to heat it up a little bit, pull the roll out. Let's go over to the temperature here and go nozzle and we'll just crank it up. We'll go with like 220, ah, 215, good enough. Okay, so as that warms up, we're just gonna make sure there's no other spider webs. Actually, we've got a few of those hanging around here. But everything is looking still pretty good. Just haven't ran it in a while, so yeah. Once I pull the filament out, we'll uh, tighten up the belts here and down here on the base, and we'll oil up the Z axis, and hopefully that'll do it. Good job. Okay, actually while we do that, I'm going to show you the computer and the part that we're going to be making. Be right back. Okay, here we are. Here's the part we're going to make. This is in FreeCAD that I've designed this product in. So as you can see, the program can be a little difficult to play with, but you'll get the hang of it eventually. Ah. Yeah, so there, as you can see, the center is all inside, so it's just a, a little cap. Whoop, haha. <laughs> like I said, I'm still learning the program. It's been a little, bit of an adventure to learn this but but there you are there's the part that we're going to be printing so this is in FreeCAD I know you can't see that on the screen right now uh, you can barely see it there but I am doing this on a TV so it's not looking too bad this is a 4k TV so Okay, so there's the part. Now I've already exported it over to Cura here. So there's the part. Now this has already been sliced. I don't know if you can see that down here. It says two hours and 41 minutes to print this. 33 grams of filament is required. This here that you see all along in the light blue, kind of green, is called uh, <clears throat> supports because this edge sticks out so I've already tried printing once without the supports so it didn't work out it worked but it had problems as you can see it's gonna I can show you the different layers as it goes so that's how it's gonna print and we got hundred and three layers so there's what we got there. That's the part we're gonna be making here shortly. Now I just got to uh, 
save it to disk. As you can see, it says save to disk. I haven't done that yet. So I got to go grab the SD card out of the printer and then we'll save it to disk. Be right back. Okay. I went and grabbed the little micro SD card. I'm going to put it into its little USB adapter and then we'll put it into the computer. Okay, so that's what's already on the SD card. Okay, so we don't need these ones on here right now, so we'll just... Now, yeah, where's the delete? There we go, delete. And we'll get rid of this one too, that's the old one, we don't want that one now. Okay. So now we'll just hit save to removable drive. And there we go. So now we're all ready for the printer. So we'll go back over there and finish the maintenance and we'll get printing. See you then. Okay, as you'll notice, I shut the printer off because I, I had to take the memory card out. I don't like leave, uh, taking it out with it on. So we'll put that back in in a minute, but let's check on the belts first. So what we just need to do here is loosen these off just a little bit. See, now this is loose. So now we'll take another one and we'll just pull this a little bit tighter. Just tighten it up a little bit. And then we'll just tighten these down. There we go. That belt's nice and tight again. Now we'll do this one. So we'll just push this back slowly. Then there's, yeah, see that, don't, that seems a little loose. So we'll just loosen off these two on the side here. Well, actually, there's two on each side. So we'll just loosen that off a little bit. On both sides. feels better. <clears throat> yeah, that feels pretty good. So there we go. Those two belts are already tightened down and look much better. So now let's turn the printer around. Here. We're going to unplug this actually at the moment. Okay, so you just, we got these three. <coughs> All right. Okay, so we got these two Z axes, which. If, aha, that's not good. Okay, we'll have to fix that. That could have been causing me issues. Okay. But the screw looks nice and clean. Okay. A little bit of dirt there, but it's not too bad. Okay, so we'll, we'll put that back in for right now and fix the problem that just happened. That's not good.
Okay, so let's loosen that right off. Okay, this is going to take a little bit more than I thought. Let's crank you on to the motor. We'll open you right up. I'm having some difficulty because I got there's a lot of oil on here still. feels a lot better. Okay. Oh. Okay, those feel pretty good, but I am still going to put a little bit more machine oil on here, just a little bit. Just along here. Do the same with the other side. That'll just make sure that everything moves a lot smoother. So, okay. So, everything is looking pretty good here. Okay, let's turn her back around. Okay, we'll plug the power back in. Okay. So then now we'll take the memory card here. And that goes down in here. Right in here. So I'll just pop that back in. There we go. And we'll turn it back on. <sighs> Thank you. 
Okay, so now what we're going to have to do is let's recheck the calibration. So we're going to move the Z axis up, work that oil in, and then we'll make sure everything is good. But first, I think we'll do an auto home. Okay, now let's move this. I'm gonna move the axis, Z axis, and I'm gonna move it up by at least 220. Actually, I went a little high there, but it'll correct itself. And then for this, I'm going to use my digital caliper. Whoa, it's getting up there. There it goes. Yeah, I went up too high and then I brought it back down. But that went up good. Okay, so now let's check and see how well this is still doing. Okay, we've got 114.5. Let's go over here. And we got 113.3, that's way off. Okay. One thirteen five. Do it again. Keepers. Oh. Okay. One thirteen five. One thirteen six. One thirteen five. Okay, that's pretty close. So that's not bad. Okay. Purge that out of there. Okay. Okay, one thing I forgot to do is actually make sure the level the bit. So let's go over and oh wait, we want to heat up the bed first. I have found that heating up the bed gives you a better leveling. So we'll let that heat up and then we'll get this all leveled out. 
Okay, everybody, we are up to temperature, so now we are going to run the leveling program. And we used a small feeler gauge. Okay. I used a 0 0.05 to do this. So let's see. Okay, not bad. Okay. Okay, now we're ready. Let's put the filament back in and we'll start up the print. See how this goes. Okay, let's fire this print up. Let's see how it does. So now we just gotta wait for the nozzle to heat up because the bed's already heated up. And we'll see how it does. There we go. Okay, I don't remember making it so close to the front. Ah.
Okay, I'm stopping this print. We messed up big time. Okay, let's try that again. This time, I'm gonna re-level, but I'm gonna up the bed, keep the bed hot. Oh, too high. <laughs> Getting... There we go. Okay, let's try the bed leveling again, because I obviously messed that up. Yep, definitely had it too loose. This happens though. I haven't ran it in a while, so my, I'm a little out of touch. Okay. Oh, way too loose. No wonder I had trouble. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, while the nozzle heats up again, I'm going to wash that down again. Okay, we'll see how that does. You can come in, I can easily mute this section. Okay, yeah, because yeah, I was like, <sighs> I held off as long as I could, and I'm like, I can't, I have to be, so. No, I messed up the bed leveling, so I had to redo it. So we'll see if that fixes it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I know. Um, what, what the problem was is, there was still a little bit of filament sticking out of the nozzle, which threw off my bed leveling. Got it. Got I forgot it. to clean the nozzle first. So we're about to fire up. Purge in here. Yeah, 
just about there, so let's see how this one goes. All right. Yeah, no, like I said, I was um, trying my hardest to wait, but yeah, that didn't. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm about to go. Get some stuff cutting out of there. Yep. That's fine. Okay. I mean, it'll get purged anyway. Ah, okay. It always has a purge line. All right. See, it have come out right there. Yeah. Actually, I'll just pull that off anyway. I don't know why it's waving now. I forgot I got this, the uh, supports on. I was going to say, that's not what it's supposed to be, but... <laughs> I don't know why it's so close to the front. It wasn't supposed to be like that either. Huh. But this is just a skirt, so... I was just going to say, this is the skirt, isn't it? Yeah. But see, it's uh, wavy, but that's because of the supports. I forgot. Right. Now, it's about to go in and do the main part. All oh, right, it's going to do all the supports first. I was just going to say, I guess it's taught the supports go first, so. I just want to make sure that there's that adhesions there. Mm -hmm. Okay, while you do that, I'm going to go check it. to fade away cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain all of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient okay just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place you wanna love Okay, there we go. All done, cooled off. Let's see if we can get this off of here. Oh, that I can right up. I'll just pull that off too. So then now, there it is. I think that's a lot better, so. We'll take off all this. Access along here. Okay, still had some issues at the back. I'll have to see about fixing that. Mm. 
Okay. And there we go. Looking good. <laughs> 